hello and happy day. Have you reminded yourself to slow down today, to reduce the noise, to listen? My name is Igor S.F. Walker, and I am here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. Today, we look at Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Our inward power, when it obeys nature, reacts to events by accommodating itself to what it faces, to what is possible. It needs no specific material. It pursues its own aims as circumstances allow. It turns obstacles into fuel as a fire overwhelms what would have quenched a lamp. What's thrown on top of the conflagration is absorbed, consumed by it. What's thrown on top of the conflagration is absorbed, consumed by it, and it makes it burn still higher. We, the people, try to get away from it all, to the country, to the beach, to the mountains. I always wish that I could too, which is idiotic. I can get away from it all anytime I like by going within. Nowhere can I go that is more peaceful, more free of interruptions than my own soul. An instant recollection, and there it is, complete tranquility. And by tranquility, I mean a kind of harmony. So keep getting away from it all, just like that. Renew yourself. Keep it brief and basic. What is there to complain about? People's misbehaviors? Take into consideration that rational beings exist for one another. That doing what's right sometimes requires patience. That no one does the wrong thing deliberately. And remember, the number of people that have feuded and envied and hated and fall and died and have been buried and keep your mouth shut. Or are you complaining about the things that the world assigns to you? Everywhere and in each moment you have an option. Accept this event with humility. Use your will. Treat a person as he or she should be treated. Use your action and approach this thought with care so that nothing irrational creeps in. Stop allowing your mind to be a slave, to be jerked about by selfish impulses, to kick against faith and present, and to mistrust the future. Let's take some responsibility. Let's meditate. It is not objects and events, but the interpretations we place on them that are the problem. Our duty is therefore to exercise strength control over faculty of perception with the aim of protecting our mind from error. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it and share it with the world. Subscribe to my channel and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. Get it. Read. Thank you. Love and respect.